If you're looking at two samples side by side, you will absolutely see a difference. Um, one is clear, one has like a weird reflection to it. And the, the reflection is either maybe a little bit purple, a little bit blue, a little bit green. Um, but in certain angles in the light, you'll kind of see it. Um, but if you have a whole building that is either clear glass and you walk in, it looks one way. You walk into a different building that has low E glass, you're probably not going to see a difference. Yeah, two pieces side by side, you'll see a color difference. Basically, what the low E coating is, is a very, 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 very thin coating of metal. And basically, they're getting the glass and they're spraying it with some sort of metal. I don't know how they do it. Um, I, I assume they're not drinking it and spitting it on it. There's probably some sort of nozzle. Maybe it has something to do with that um, float glass um, I heard you mention. Well, it's um, done afterwards, so it's... Okay, so it's a separate thing. Like the, the, the process. If you know, tell yeah, us. Yeah. Um, but basically, it's a very thin layer of metal on that glass, and they change the proportions of what types of metal are in that coating. It's, it's so thin you can see through it. Correct. And um, what that metal does is it acts like sunscreen, because sunscreen, like the old school uh, sunscreen, has zinc in it, and that zinc reflects that UV light away from your, your skin. Um, and that's basically the same thing that the low E coating does. So the whole world of nanotechnology, I don't need to understand for my job. Yeah. But I'd love to know more of it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah.